Well, I would have had it on the first take if it weren't for you two. Well, hello and welcome to Munson Made This and welcome to day three of my plant-based diet weight loss adventure slash journey. If you're watching this video first, you should probably go watch the first video and the second video. So I'll have a link right above here to the playlist that's gonna have all of the videos once they are released. Hopper is deciding to squeak his toy in the background. Wow, it's like you turn on the camera and the pups decide like they need your attention. Anyway, thanks to those of you that have been watching and supporting so far. Those of you that don't like these videos, that are bored, uh, that hate that I'm not doing my regular recipe videos, those will be back soon enough. This is something I just wanted to try and do, so I'm trying it and doing it. Before we get into today's what I eat, information. Uh, I just want to uh, talk slightly about calories. Before I do that, I want to just reiterate that I'm not a health professional. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. None of those things. I'm just a person who wanted to try uh, to eating, uh, try eating in a specific way to see if it would help me lose a few pounds. I want to recommend a YouTube channel called Syat Fitness. The guy on there, Jordan Syat, has really helped me to understand calories and uh, being in a caloric deficit and what it really takes to lose uh, weight. What I've taken away from his channel is that basically every diet is pretty much the same, whether it's keto, Atkins, whole food plant-based, uh, intermittent fasting, all of these uh, suit to just get you to eat fewer calories. Your body, you have a BMR, your basal metabolic rate, that's how many calories your body burns in a day. And if you exceed that, regardless of what type of food it is, then you will gain weight. If you eat fewer calories than your body burns in a day, then you have a good chance of losing weight. So I'm choosing to go on a whole food plant-based diet as my way of trying to eat fewer calories in a day. So much of a plant-based diet is like no oil, no fats, uh, even reducing avocados and nuts and seeds like that because they want to say that you can eat all you want on a plant-based diet and never gain weight. And that could be true if the foods you're eating don't have any caloric density at all. Um, but that didn't really work for me. I want foods that are satiating and filling. So I am eating a lot of nuts and seeds and nut butters and avocados and things with whole uh, plant fats in them. And my goal is to try to find a way of eating to try to construct meals that I've, I've mentioned it before that are high in fiber, high in protein and have a decent amount of fat because that way I feel satisfied. And even though I'm not counting calories for you or saying this, this meal has this many calories, uh, I do have an awareness of how many calories are in a cup of beans or a cup of rice or in half of an avocado or in a serving of peanut butter or how many servings of peanut butter I'm actually eating. So I am calculating that. I do have an understanding of what each meal sort of is worth. Um, so that I am not exceeding my BMR or how many calories my body can burn in a day. But my focus isn't on strictly reducing calories. My focus is on constructing meals that make me feel full and satisfied so that by eating these foods and feeling good, I'm less likely to binge eat or to overeat, that I can eat a meal when I'm done, I stop eating. <laughs> Um, normally, if I have things with a lot of refined carbohydrates, white flours, sugar, immediately, I just snap into like this blind binge eating mode and I can't stop. I keep shoveling food into my mouth and I don't feel great afterwards. So finding foods that don't trigger me, that make me feel full, that allow me to be done when I'm, when I'm finished eating uh, and allow me to go uh, a while before I start thinking about food or wanting my next meal. Um, that's what I'm looking for here. And that's what this experiment is really about. So enough rambling, uh, definitely check out Syat Fitness. Uh, again, his discussions on calories and caloric deficit has really helped me to just wrap my head around um, weight loss and what I need to do in order to lose weight for myself. So thank you all again for watching. And here is my what I eat for Tuesday. Good morning. It's a, <clears throat> wow, I just realized it's the first time I've uh, spoken today. Uh, it's about 11 o'clock and uh, I got up about eight, fed the pups, had an espresso. Um, I've actually just been being really lazy and playing Zelda. I'm replaying Breath of the Wild. And I'm just about done with it. It's kind of like my morning coffee, like it just helps get my mind going in the morning, or at least that's what I'm telling myself. But anyway, uh, 
normally, um, today I woke up feeling kind of, I don't know, weak? Is it, that's not the right word for it. I just haven't felt great. So a uh, little slight headachey. I just feel kind of drowsy and down. So um, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat earlier than I normally would, but I eat when I'm hungry, so I'm hungry now, so whatever. Uh, I've got my griddle heating up here. I'm going to do like an avocado toast with some bacon. We did a bacon taste test a few days ago. Um, it's been out, I guess it's been out for quite a while now, but um, I have some bacon left over that I need to use up, so I'm gonna grill up a couple of those. I'm not gonna really add any oil. Just grill them up and then uh, toast some of my bread and put some avocado on it and have a bacon avocado toast. All right, so here is my bacon avocado toast. This is the Upton's state hand bacon. Hmm. Nutritional yeast, everything seasoning, lots of black pepper. I'm gonna go finish watching Martha Stewart and uh, eat these up. And I'll see you when I'm ready for my next meal. They look fine. Mmm, -hmm. pretty hideous. Uh, so I'm getting hungry, it's about 3.45. I'm not sure why I'm here. Well, because we're gonna be tasting this bee leaf meatless vegan jerky. Uh, bee leaf sent it to us to try out and uh, I'm getting hungry so it seemed like a good time and you getting snacky? I'm getting snacky. Well, we're both wearing like the same kind of. Yeah, these are like holiday. Holiday cover up with like regular t shirts under it. Whatever. Hmm. Mmm. Smells like spices. It kind of has a poison flavor. Wow. I like this. It's really sweet. Really chewy. Really, really chewy. It's a non-GMO soybean fiber, sugar, oil, soy sauce, not a fan? No, it's good, I just don't, mm, I just don't want it. So I guess I'm gonna eat this and then uh, I'm gonna start throwing some things together. I have some quinoa I need to eat. Um, well, that is good. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna make myself a little bowl of stuff because I'm hungry. That's so chewy. Yeah. Really good. Bee leaf. Okay. Bye. Bye. So. Just threw a bunch of random stuff. I, I made soy yogurt last night, which I have a video on my channel on how to make soy yogurt in the Instant Pot. So I made soy yogurt last night and I used my ranch dressing recipe and made basically like ranch out of the yogurt. And then I still have Brussels sprouts that I'm trying to use up. So I've got those, the white beans that I cooked the other day, um, some of the tofu that I still had cooked. Uh, lots of quinoa. Not the best thing I've ever made, but it's really good. It's a little like, I mean, it's cold. I would rather have had something warm, but it seems like a good idea. So I went with it and I'm going to enjoy it. So I'll eat this and then um, I'll let you know what I eat next. Hopper. Oh, I thought it was, well, it's close to nine o'clock. I actually just got back from Whole Foods, I decided to get out of the house a little bit and um, I wanted to basically like get more peanut butter because I'm almost out, which I've been eating crunchy peanut butter and all I could get was creamy, which is not a problem. I love peanut butter, there's just peanuts and salt. This Whole Foods one I've been buying is great. Trader Joe's one is awesome, but I haven't been to Trader Joe's actually in quite a few months. But uh, this is one of my favorite snacks. Um, I think I call it an apple flower or an apple star. It's basically just apple. These are pink lady apple or is a pink lady apple. And peanut butter. Well, salty creaminess of the peanut butter. By the way, the dog's probably like favorite food in the world are apples. So I'll probably end up sharing some of this with them, although they do have slices of apples 
that I slice up and keep for them in the freezer. Mm. But uh, instead of having like a dinner, because I'm not really sure what I want to have for kind of like my final meal of the day, this sounded really good. Kind of dessert meets a snack. So this is what I'm having and I'm gonna enjoy it and hang out with Ben while he plays some video games. And then uh, figure out what I'm gonna eat later. Maybe I'll just have more of this. So good. I still have quite a bit of the white beans left. Well, there's not quite a bit, there's a little bit. But I decided to soak some black beans tonight so that I can cook them tomorrow and enjoy them. The peanut butter and apple was incredible. And am I in focus? Uh, it was incredible. I ate it so quick. I did share with the pups because I'm nice like that. Uh, although they were insatiable and I feel like they just wanted more and more. Um, Trying to make sure I'm in focus. Um, I just put some white or some black beans in a jar with some water, so I'm soaking those so I can cook them tomorrow. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied for a little while. I'm not sure what or if I'm gonna eat again. I'm definitely gonna eat again later, um, but I'm just not sure what. I definitely wanna make sure that when I do, that it is more of a, a meal, not just snacks. Cause sometimes I just get to the point where I'm like, eh. I'll just make popcorn or I'll just eat a handful or two of cashews. And um, I definitely want to make sure that I eat something somewhat substantial and, and more real. Not that there's anything wrong with popcorn or cashews or... Anyway, I'm going to go hang out with Ben, watch YouTube, watch him play video games, and I'll see you in a few. It's 11.30 and uh, I figured if I'm going to eat something, I might as well do it now before it gets too much later. Uh, I'm kind of stretching out some dough. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I made some uh, whole wheat pizza dough in my bread machine the other day and it's just been hanging out in the fridge. So uh, I decided I was gonna make just some little like flatbreads and then uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just eat it with some beans and avocado or maybe some peanut butter or maybe an avocado one and a peanut butter one, I'm not sure. I also made some uh, rice, which is a whole thing. It's a type of black rice. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I might end up eating some of that. I'm not sure. So I'm going to get this together and I'll show you the final product. And Ben and I are just sitting and watching kind of junk TV on the couch together with the pups. So I want to get something quick so I can return to the couch. Well, this definitely isn't my best work, but uh, I have a pizza dough that I separated into two halves and uh, cooked them up so I have peanut butter on one and avocado and beans on the other. And yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be eating. Definitely gonna be the last thing I'm eating tonight. So I'm just gonna go sit on the couch, watch TV and enjoy this strange snack dinner. Ryan Little. <laughs> Little.